morning, everyone. This is Mihai from PipCentives.com. This is London session uh, scenarios. We're looking at um, pound dollar and uh, pound yen. We're going to perform a top-down analysis on both pairs. And then we'll look at the rainbow charts, see if there are any signals there. We'll combine what we find um, on both uh, systems. And we'll come up with uh, our scenarios for the day and maybe even for the week. Let's start with the uh, cable. All right, we'll just uh, quickly plot um, the main lines, the main um, support resistance um, level. As always, I'm using a color code. I'm using the specific colors for each chart, so I would know where these levels are coming from. Now, there's uh, something I wanted to show you guys on uh, both um, pound dollar and uh, euro dollar. We are at on a weekly support. Uh, it seems more obvious on pound dollar actually. Okay, a euro dollar had this support um, I think last week as we broke through. On the other hand, we are still on an important uh, level of support on that pair as well. So expect some um, retracements based on that. We'll see if we have any scenario for such a retracement um, or we will have to wait. In any case, um, even if the trend remains essentially bearish on both pairs, on dollar bullish in general, um, I think there might be some short-term, um, <coughs> maybe intraday moves to the upside that could be interesting. Okay, I was actually looking for these these um, retracements last week. Um, I invested into a long trade on the euro dollar that didn't work out well. Um, it doesn't change the fact that if this thing is confirmed and it is at this point on the euro dollar uh, this week we might see these moves to the upside in spite of the trend being cl clearly uh, bearish at this point. Now let's see um, the other um, main levels, just a moment. Previous high at this point, previous area of support uh, could be turning into resistance if price goes there. I just don't want to plot too many unnecessary levels. Our analysis is still short term. This is what um, a more relevant um, line um, 56.57. Let me just make sure it's exactly where I want it to be. All right, and this level of support at 53.50, um, I think um, it's the close of this candle 5355 five, five. yeah so it's exactly here we see that there was it's actually a um, double bottom twice so far I am expecting some um, bounces here there might these might not be heavy bounces but at least for short term could look for um, movements or uh, retracement waves okay wave wise we're looking still at bearish a bearish formation on the weekly. As far as the waves are concerned, uh, I don't think it's going to stop here. All right, we had retracement, and we seem to be continuing. It's not uh, yet confirmed, but the move to the downside towards a 78 tip of this move up is probable. Uh, Euro dollar is only about uh, 150 bits from its own 78% of this level. GU uh, moved uh, down uh, uh, more slowly, mainly due to the Euro being uh, weaker in general. All right, but I think both uh, are following the same patterns, the same uh, bearish patterns on the larger chart. All right, we'll remove these because we're not really interested um, yet in such level, just a moment, 57, and all right, that's it, we'll remove these waves, and we'll switch to the daily chart, all right, okay, as you can see, the trend is mainly bearish, the main trend line on the daily remains bearish, there you go. And I think we have uh, shorter term uh, trend lines pointing the same way, same uh, direction. I'm talking about this one. There's nothing uh, longer term um, bullish at this time. While we are still within this area, the longer term 
will still look bearish. Now if you look at the last move, the last wave that's visible on the daily chart has crossed uh, way beyond the 78 February retracement. And this would be the main move right now. You can see that everything started from here. It's basically a sideways retracement pattern. And we already broke below the low of the first wave. So it's practically confirmed. This is what I have in mind in terms of waves for the euro at this point in short term. You will see that those retracements I referred to might be very short term ones. Here you go. And this would be the active wave as far as I'm concerned. Now, if the pound dollar breaks below this level of support, there are two things here, two elements to keep in mind. One, it will break a major level of support on the daily. Um, well, on the weekly, it's not going to be relevant until uh, Friday at the end of the session, but still the daily is important. So if we break this 15350 on the daily chart, continuation is probable and we're looking at the wave 3 inside this red which red wave can also be a wave 3 so we're talking wave 3 inside the wave 3 that's uh, as good as it gets when it comes to um, high volatility and um, high probability of continuation definitely a move on the trend so I think our first scenario for talking uh, midterm and even the positional trading, we'll be looking for shorts. There will be most likely two uh, ways to go around this. One, to take an aggressive short if this retracement continues at a level that should be determined on a smaller chart, for hour and lower. Okay, this will be a higher risk um, position around the 61% of this last way down or maximum 71. Definitely not beyond 156.50. That's uh, a weekly level of resistance, also daily, and clearly beyond the 78 on the other side. So we do not want the GU going up, crossing this 56.50. Uh, that would mean the support is settled here, and we might look for a more complex retracement pattern higher up towards the 160 area. Okay? It's not relevant to talk about it at this point, and we'll have to look uh, for these <coughs> entries on smaller charts. The other way to go around it would be to simply wait for breakout on the daily. If you guys are trading um, midterm swing trading, you will look for a break of 53.50 on the daily, daily close below that level. I wouldn't trust anything uh, less than that. Okay, daily close, breaking the support, and that should trigger further downslide towards 149, 148. Um, if uh, the general guidelines of the waves are respected, that move should be quite uh, abrupt. Okay, wave 3 of wave 3 is usually um, violent. And if you think about the moves on the euro last week, we ended up um, into a quite nice trending uh, market in the end uh, on Friday. That could be the case for the pound too if uh, the euro is starting to um, to recover a little bit, at least in short term, and the pound um, loses against the euro, we could see that pound dollar going the same way as the euro uh, did last uh, week. Mitt, we'll, we'll go there. I'm starting always on the larger chart, and we'll go um, all the way until the 15 minutes chart. <coughs> so far, I know two things about this euro. I know that there will be an entry midterm somewhere around. 153.40 because I'm expecting that um, 5350 to be broken at the time. Okay, so this would be a scenario short around here. Let's just mark this level. Okay, 53. You know what? Let me just uh, write it down. Um, it would be clearer if I just um, write it here. Okay, so we're looking for short below 5340 I would say but again you will look for D1 close below support okay that's um, a swing scenario okay I'll get back to it a bit later I just want to put down what I found so far 
and another entry somewhere around 5550 okay I'll just mark this level 55 five, uh, 156 is the maximum I'll mark it now it's um, we're talking about an entry point okay and remove the fib all right that that's it for the daily chart I need to look at smaller charts to determine these um, scenarios now if you look at this one two three four five we have five waves we have divergence at the end of wave five on the rate of change it seems like the tricks and the MACD are turning up the tricks is actually pointing up at this point MACD is a bit flat and the uh, rate of change is very nicely bullish at this point okay that means what we said before remains valid if um, geo breaks through this support we should see acceleration but for now short term it might advance towards an area between the 61.8 and the 78 percent and this will be the area that I see short um, right here aggressive shorts with stop loss above 156.50 okay this is a swing trade scenario all right this will be the area 155.50 which is the 70 is a 61.8 fib and it seems to be also a previous uh, level of resistance twice and there is a previous support here around uh, 5570 finally there's 156 price should not climb to a fresh high that would break both the trend lines that would break the wave and that would break the bearish momentum um, even if there are some retracements today this shouldn't overthrow the bearish uh, outlook um, longer term but if price manages to close somewhere around the 5630 5650 um, on the four hour chart and especially on the daily then um, this uh, bearish uh, setup is completely off the table alright so we have two possible entries into a swing trade short at this point now let's see I think as we advance towards the smaller chart we'll get more and more bullish scenarios alright let's see on the hourly okay we have a trend line break short term have a level of support here pretty good support uh, 5370 MACD is pointing up alright well it looks like um, already the one hour chart is giving us um, green light for some longs now remember guys these longs are still against the main trend so um, the way I do it um, when I go um, into trades like these uh, definitely they, they will be confirmed on the 5 minutes and 15 minutes chart probably the rainbow has confirmed them too but you have to get out of uh, these trades as soon as the setup breaks without extending the stop at all because in case it falls back uh, below 5390 then you have to remember the trend is still bearish so you're not really allowed to stay into these trades if they don't produce profit immediately they should produce profit right now um, on the long side and reach somewhere uh, 15510, 15550 with a bit of luck 156. I don't think it will reach 156 though. I think uh, it should stay below um, this uh, figure uh, 156 if uh, short start to be uh, continued. Okay, this is all I see on the one hour chart. Let's go quickly on the 30 minutes and below all right there isn't much momentum here um, on the 15 minutes chart clearly for today we had a bullish price action and a bit of uh, a retracement about 40 50 pips to be made uh, towards the upside confirmation probably came on the 5 minutes chart let me just have a look at the rainbow chart uh, let's quickly go on the daily and 4 hour even though we have um, an outlook uh, on those charts clearly bearish as you can see we are into a bearish rainbow for some time it's been confirmed even now we are at a point um, 
on a confirmed and fully aligned rainbow. There isn't much, um, there isn't consolidation confirmed uh, either. So basically, um, this rainbow chart tells us that um, we should short anywhere below 15550. Actually, when it crosses the yellow area on the daily chart, there might be problems. So I would short only while we are still uh, on the daily. Um, with resistance uh, below 15550, which is in line with what I said before, 156 as a top. It might reach there uh, during the day and then close the day below 5550. Okay, so it's just confirming uh, our midterm view. You see that 15560 is the top of the rainbow on the 4 hour chart. Okay, we haven't quite uh, reached um, short term scenarios, Mito. Just um, Wait until we uh, look at the 15 and 5 minute rainbow. There should be some uh, interesting scenarios there. Alright, now this would be the top. I would mark this as a level of interest, 5560. Five, okay, first of all, it's the daily yellow area. Okay, and it is the 4 hour top of the rainbow with previous high at the same level, previous resistance just a few pips above. This might be an interesting level to, to um, follow, 5560. Let me just mark it here on the other chart. 5560. <laughs> I don't need to. This is the area, as you can see. This is the 61.8 to 78 pip area that we already um, noticed on the clean chart. So the rainbow is simply agreeing with this setup short if price goes there. Okay? No need to update anything. Uh, the one hour chart. Uh, we might want to write down this le level. It's previous level of resistance and top of the rainbow on the one hour chart. That's 5511. This could be a target, guys. 5511 could be a target for short term uh, trading. Look at minutes 5470. All these are turning into key levels for short-term trading. 5477, I'll mark this point as well. We'll draw some conclusions at the end. And let's see the 15 minutes and 5 minutes. These are the charts that I use for... Uh, well, there is, there is actually a signal. There is a signal long uh, coming up around um, 5450, if I'm not mistaken. All right. Now what we're looking at is for the red and yellow to come out of the rainbow on the upper side. But as you can see, even though the red has come up one, you ignore the first exit. It's gone back into the into the rainbow, and now it's coming up again. This is the time when you actually take it into account. But the yellow is still not there, and there is the problem of not having a, a full alignment. So this will be the first alignment, the first time that... Uh, the market switches direction back towards long. In this case, you keep an eye on the level of 154.15. Now, if indeed this retracement has any chance of reaching the, these higher levels we talked about, this level should not be reached. So we're talking about 30 pips from here. This would be my stop, 54.15. I'll just mark this level here as well. I know that all these are rainbow levels. Get back to this chart in just a moment. And finally, the 5 minute chart. It's been bullish since this morning. Nicely aligned. Everything uh, seems to be fine. And I think uh, 5420 is the bottom of the rainbow right now. That makes sense actually, uh, and it's connected to the previous um, mentioned level of 54.15. I think we're ready to draw some conclusions, guys. Now, this for me is a number, it's valid only here, uh, only with a perspective of sh really short term and with tight stops 54.15, 54.20. That means you'll be risking right now about 25 to 30 pips. Okay? I would say that for now, <coughs> it looks okay to me to uh, take this position long um, I would go even with a stop at 54.20 that's based on the 5 minute rainbow remember that 
while price is going down, unless it's dropping in one single candle all the way to the top, it should still move the rainbow, the, the 200 moving average that's defining the bottom of the rainbow, should still move up. So your 54.20 will remain there. That means most likely if the 200 MA right now is 54.21 and price is 54.48, uh, if price remains stable above the mid area between the, the current high and the 200 moving average, the 200 MA will go up. With every candle that closes, the 200 MA will be slightly higher. So that will make your stop a bit safer. Okay? You can even adjust your stop higher if things uh, start to, to go um, nicely in your favor. Uh, if it um, goes up 5.460, 5470, most likely that 200 MA will be uh, going up uh, faster. Your stop will advance towards 54.29, 54.30. So going back to the original chart, let's see what the scenarios would be. I would say for now, we're looking at a long let me just um, write it here. Short term, I'm looking at a long at, let's say, current price, 15450. It's still uh, decent uh, as far as I'm concerned, the risk to reward. Uh, the stop will be 5421. You know what? Let's make it 19 uh, to allow two pips for the spread. We do not want price touching there. Uh, that's what, 31 pips target at, well, now it comes to how aggressive you actually are and what's your money management system. If you want to take everything out at at, um, at once, I would say target at 5, 4, 55, uh, sorry, 75, 75. Why 75? Because I want just two pips below the level that I mentioned, two, three pips below 54, 77. And then you have 155.11. Again, you can use maybe 155.10. Uh, All right, let's make it a round number. And finally, I think uh, the last level I mentioned here is 55.54. Okay, 155.52. Oh, no more, um, no more space here. Okay, and 52. All right, this will be the scenario for this session, for short term. Uh, if you prefer um, trade with lower risk, I'd go for this previous low uh, around the 54.25. And it's about the same thing, 54.20, 54.25. Well, IP... IP, you are asking how uh, do we set two targets? I think it, it's either a question of money management. You simply close, for instance, uh, if you're trading uh, four mini lots, you close one mini lot around 5477, you close another mini lot around 5511, and then you close the entire position at 5550, which is your final target. Okay? That's one way uh, to do it. Uh, another way is simply to open several trades. You open uh, two or three positions if your broker does not allow you to scale out of your uh, entry. But without exposing three times what you're usually exposing, simply divide your lot size into three and open three different positions. Um, the way I do it, I usually um, do this with two targets, not three. I choose my uh, preferred target. And, um, well, tightening the stop al uh, along the way is also one way to um, manage your trade. For instance, if it hits your first target, you're really not allowed to lose anything on the same trade. Their stop will be somewhere probably at break-even, uh, 5, 4, 70. And you're just hoping for it to go higher up. But you would be already profit about 25 pips and you do not want to lose that. You take half lot off, that's your profit, and then you want to increase price goes higher. If it drops and hits your stop and break even, it, that's fine. Okay. Man, what a challenge today with uh, the technical side. Thanks, guys. I'm getting all the yeses right now. Okay. Uh, before uh, anything else, uh, 
any other interruption, I just want to at least um, finish with um, what we discussed on uh, pound dollar. Guys, I see this as a short-term long opportunity. Uh, on the other hand, I would look uh, to completely get out of the long around 155.50. I wouldn't uh, go anywhere beyond that point because this will be an area where most likely this area here uh, when we will see the bears coming back into the game remember the trend remains bearish so once price hits this area 5550 156 this would be the final um, longer um, larger charts are concerned you're trading against the trend to protect some of these trades with stop loss, stop loss at break even there might be again a problem with the sound a good minute for um, to finish our analysis. Uh, I just wanted to come back to these charts. Okay, this is our short-term scenario, and this would be our mid-term uh, scenario with a short around 5550. Now remember, guys, you would be trading at this point here. If price reaches up here, you would be trading um, against the trend, basically against the 15 minutes and five minutes trend which at that point will be uh, strongly bullish but you would be trading with the larger chart the daily and the weekly in mind okay now it's okay to short here even against the five minutes and the 15 minutes but remember low exposure first of all and second stops will have to be somewhere on 5650 okay you're going for about uh, 70 80 pips of risk maybe 100 uh, make sure that amount is not too much um, money value. All right. Let make sure that half of your usual exposure, because you would be going for a very large move. You do not go in here short to close for 20 pips. This is only if you know that you have the patience to follow price back towards 154 and keep adding along the way, because this is not going to give you too much profit. You want low risk. You're, and you want very big move, a very big profit in terms of pips, so you can make some money. About three times, four times what you risk. Only if you do that, it, it's worth. Otherwise, you just skip. You simply keep the longs short term and for as long as you can. Then, if the short term uh, charts turn um, turn bearish, you just stay out, and that's it. All right. The real short would come midterm around uh, 5390 by that time the five minutes will turn bearish as well obviously so sometimes it's just a, a game of uh, putting the five minutes chart and the four hour chart to agree to each other uh, when they agree you have a larger higher probability of a, of a bigger move because you have short term and midterm um, on the same side at this point we have them looking the other way. Short term looks bullish, mid term still looks bearish. So my advice is if whatever you're doing, stay consistent with the idea and the plan that you open the trade with. For instance, if you're going long, your stop is 30 pips, 35 pips, that's it, not more than that. If you are trading uh, swing, if you're trading with um, a bigger reward in mind something like three four hundred pips actually uh, an entry at five five that works out just fine um, can give you six hundred pips if you are patient enough to keep that position again personally I'm not that patient I'll be going in and out uh, during that time many times so if you are a set and forget uh, sort of trader that just looks for good levels to enter positions with a certain um, risk reward and uh, likes to keeping trades for as long as they work then that's okay you can um, try a short here and if it doesn't work out take it out for about 70 pips of, of loss um, if that's a small exposure you shouldn't risk more than 30 pips of your usual trade you know just divided by two all right now this is for GU let's switch to GJ let's go quickly on this uh, chart uh, on the clean chart just to set up the big lines uh, the um, trend line let's see on the weekly there's no uh, question of what the trend is 
let's see if we have any big levels here it is most important level this was actually a level we've been talking about for many weeks now this 126 area which served as support many times served as a breakout point and you see price came back to retest it and failed exactly from there okay this in my opinion is a uh, wave in itself and the fact that we are now back towards the confirmation point uh, well says quite a lot there's a lot of pressure on let's go quickly over this uh, GJ at least um, to, to finish our um, outlook alrighty now guys usually I'm, I'm watching the 78 fib as the last frontier when I see price um, closing below the 78 I know that uh, there is a very high probability of continuation towards 100% and beyond now this is the final frontier as far as I'm concerned on GJ here uh, the daily chart shows that there isn't much to expect once price goes away from the 118 area now if this were just one single candle if price remains now above our current support current support is here um, at 118.51 any daily close below that point would simply break this um, po the possibility of support and would confirm clearly more downside in, um, in GJ Clearly, the the direction we expect is uh, down. Definitely, definitely a bearish trend on the daily. Bearish direction even for shorter term. Nothing to point up at this point, especially on these larger charts. Okay, sorry. All right, I'm moving to the four-hour chart. We're looking at some support here, but there isn't much to expect for um, more than just a few pips so probably whatever it is if we're looking for a long uh, this should be found on a 15 minutes chart or 5 minutes and the 4 hour does not allow us to go long at this time um, only if price climbs back above 119.20 and stays there I will need daily close I will need some significant price action that would convince me we really hit a bottom here otherwise just the fact that um, we found some temporary 4 hour um, low here at 118.12 is not good enough alright um, there's one more thing uh, remember that usually guys GJ doesn't end a, a move with just one try double top trip of the low there is some you see uh, the support is um, takes the shape of a double bottom with a one two three four five I think you guys lost sound again not sure but probably uh, you do not hear me right now sound test can you guys hear me alright it seems to be okay. Adrian is saying it's okay. All right. I'm <laughs> just suspicious now of uh, of everything. You can hear me. Good. Good. All right. <laughs> the only thing that that um, keeps me concerned right now, guys, is a, a, a possible double bottom here at 118 in short term, and maybe on a 15 minutes chart. In case we still find we find the resistance at the previous support at 118.77 now let's see this is an hourly level and I would look for short uh, below 118.50 for another test of 118 okay uh, it's pretty difficult to go long I think uh, on pound uh, again uh, the trend is clearer and uh, this basically does not provide much confidence for long um, th this level doesn't seem to me like a very important one and uh, especially if we breach the 118 area uh, the drop uh, could be abrupt I would say to draw a conclusion for GJ um, I'd say either out of it or looking for small short 
at some key levels, especially uh, this 11890. Um, if you guys want to take a very very small short, uh, hoping for a top, okay. But that's why I say very small position, so you would be able to take it um, to, to take some negative without closing it, because basically you would still be on the bearish trend. Uh, I don't want to close position until I know that uh, I'm wrong. And in this case here, if you manage to catch a top, then you can add to the position. Okay, maybe one third at the top, you add another third, and then when price starts moving, then you can go into a full position. Uh, without risking more than one third of your usual exposure, okay. Uh, one minute oil chart, short term bearish. Well, um, I cannot look at the oil right now, so I don't even I don't think I even have it here. But um, basically, what this GJ is suggesting, okay, we might be entering another phase uh, of violent drop but it shouldn't happen before 118 so if you enter here positions around um, 1870 1890 or 119 you would want to be careful when it hits the previous area because this can turn into a bouncing point if it doesn't well then it's nice to keep a position that um, already has about 50 or 60 pips in profit. Uh, that's very, very small. So if you close it here, it will bring you very little profit. It's much better to try and use it as a possible lottery ticket. Because it's, it's a lottery ticket with uh, quite uh, good chances of um, giving you about three, 400 bits on accelerated momentum down. Okay? I mean, why not? If um, what you want is to increase exposure as um, as your confidence grows, okay, you should have a position as big as your confidence in in that trade. Now, obviously, you can't really be very confident when it hits 119, so I would go slowly into it, okay. And then, above one uh, 120, well, either you take out the position or you try hedging it for a while, uh, but definitely not adding to it, okay. Adding it to, to it uh, should be somewhere around 118. 21118 when price is already giving you something uh, that you want you already have a few pips okay so for gj i would conclude um, as a scenario actually before con before concluding let's look at the rainbow all right let's see what we have very bearish the 4 hour is very bearish daily is clearly bearish with this being a second good alignment so it's um, the daily chart on GJ is confirming short uh, the best short somewhere here basically. Um, it looks like 11650 uh, should be an easy target. Okay, definitely there's no um, question what the trend is and what the main direction in the market is. Clearly that is on the short side. One hour uh, bearish rainbow. We look look at this. Just look how price stopped at the rainbow for how many times here practically the entire retracement spiked at the top of the rainbow all the time all the time and sometimes even at the bottom of the rainbow see how the consolidation is contained by these moving averages with with the moving averages narrowing down you expect breakout it happens okay first alignment it comes back to retest another very strong um, contraction of the moving averages and boom, and the, the, the breakout is abrupt. Now, even if, of course, we cannot um, signal trades that are in the past, that's not the problem, and, and that's not the objective. This was the first alignment. Remember, a good trend has several such alignments. The second alignment would be as soon as price drops below 1850, 1840, as soon as you see the candle, okay, as, to, uh, as soon as the moving averages allow you to see the candle clearly and price is below all the moving averages. Right now price is inside the moving averages signaling that there is some consolidation of some of some sort on these charts. Now if we go further 
you see consolidation on the 30 minute chart but clearly consolidation while in a bearish trend no doubts about that 15 minute chart still bearish trend consolidation all the way to the top of the rainbow nothing bullish on the 15 minutes okay and the five minutes finally well it's been bullish this morning that's it but we are now very close to the limit of this bullishness and if you have a signal on the five minute chart and everything else is against that signal uh, maybe you should think twice about taking it so uh, the signal came here in the morning uh, looks like it could have given some pips okay uh, but it's not it's not the sort of signal that you want to take it's too uh, risky and you are counting too much on um, a counter trend move okay it's always nice when the five minutes is confirmed by the 15 minutes that tells you that right had enough time to um, to uh, settle into the new direction and the 15 minutes tells you that on the contrary we had consolidation and price can very easily uh, drop uh, abruptly at this time okay so uh, in fact I was um, I'm actually seeing now that GJ and GU do not correspond to the same scenario look to me like GJ is much more bearish even though GU is bearish uh, to um, longer term but it looks like the correction is uh, stronger on pound dollar so I still think that uh, short term uh, GU might have something to say uh, double top around here yep you see in cases like these uh, if I am going in the 5450 uh, and price starts dropping and it drops below the previous low at uh, 54.25 even if my stop is not hit and it pulls back a few bits I take it out because it's just it, it seems like the short term starts to agree more to the 4 hour and daily chart you do not want to be against both okay that tells you that um, if you are against the daily chart and the 4 hour chart that's still okay if your stops are still closed alright any questions guys Sorry for uh, taking long. Uh, it has uh, various technical problems. I'm, I'm going to try to solve these issues by Thursday. Any of you um, into um, pound yen or pound dollar trade uh, at this time? I'm curious how you guys are um, trading it. And if you have in mind the longer term or short term um, perspective. All right. Mm -hmm. Oh no, I, I'm already out of time for about 10 minutes now, uh, DTPPL. I I need to uh, wrap up as um, as soon as possible. Oh, Shri, there's no such thing. Um, the rainbow is giving you the right um, perspective for all time frames. It's just telling you the diagnosis of the market at that time. But if you want to use it as a trading signal, I would suggest 15 and 5 minutes combined combined Simon frankly if you ask me at this very second I would wait for 5450 again okay I would wait for it to hit towards the top of the of the move again 5450 um, because there's no point if you see what you see right now the last candle is already dropping about 12 pips of course 12 pips is, is nothing when uh, price is moving, um, when when you are trading with a big, um, with a longer term uh, trend, that's not not a problem. But if you are against that trend, even then this can be important. Yes, I think so, Shri. I, I think we're expecting 149 basically in GU. We should expect 149, I think, by the end of the month. There isn't much um, in the sense of long except for minor scenarios like this on a 5 50 minute chart these scenarios can be broken in in a matter of minutes or hours but the longer term perspective will take longer to to be uh, to break and i don't think there is enough on the fundamental side if we talk about things in, in larger perspective i don't think the fundamentals support a um, weak uh, dollar over the weeks ahead uh, Shri, then you would go for this setup with top around five six uh, five six six sorry five six sixty, but you wouldn't enter here. 
you would enter slightly higher, so the risk would be would be smaller because your stop still has to be somewhere here if you want to go for 149. And risking 230 pips, it looks like too steep for me. Yeah, 15660. Or at least 15640. Okay? 15640 should not be reached uh, if shorts are to be uh, to continue. Uh, it's just 20 pips, but basically there's no point uh, wasting 20 pips if you can uh, save them. The safest uh, bet is to just put your stop above the previous high to make sure that when the stop is hit, that previous wave has not been retraced, but it's been broken above. So in that case, you are at least um, glad that you haven't lost money for nothing. Okay, that the the um, stop has been hit for a reason to protect you from further loss. All right, guys. For anything, uh, any other questions? I don't, I don't think so, Shri. I'm not really a specialist in, in fundamentals, but I don't think there will be such uh, such an intervention because the, the appreciation of, of the yen has not been that abrupt yet. Of course, they are not happy with uh, with a stronger yen any more than um, than uh, the eurozone, but I don't think intervention is justified at, at this point. I may be wrong. Again, I'm not a specialist in fundamentals. Guys, this is my email address for anything, um, any question that might have uh, been left unanswered. You can also um, check out my uh, website. have uh, an alert system for every trade that I take during the day, especially on the euro dollar on uh, my own and the managed account. So uh, well, if you want to keep up with uh, what's going on uh, with my trading on the euro dollar, uh, you might want to check that out. Thanks. Thanks for being here. Sorry again for all the all the technical problems. I'll see you guys on uh, Thursday, same time. Have a great trading week.